What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Once again, another iOS comparison, actually another review overall. Apple finally released 13.2.2 and this is only not even two weeks after 13.2 and I can tell you, Apple is on a roll right now. They were releasing so many iOS updates, which is awesome. I love talking about them. I loved seeing these type of updates and everything and the more reviews that come out, the more you know these phones are being updated and the better they are overall. So 13.2.2, again, it wasn't a crazy update. There's nothing really too insane, no insane features or anything, especially even for the 7 Plus, but one of the main issues that it did fix was the RAM management issue that a lot of people were having with 13.2. Now, I was running the 13.3 beta on my 10s Max, and I saw I didn't have that issue there, which I didn't have on my main phone either, so I didn't really know what too much what it looked like. And even looking at the update size, I don't even have it on here. I forgot to take a screenshot. I thought that was 13.2.2, but the size really was only like 60 something megabytes coming from 13.2, but coming from an earlier version, it was about like 600 megabytes on my iPhone 6S. It was about like a 600 something megabyte update, which is pretty insane. So that's that, that's kind of the update size portion of it some of the fixes were all just all bug fixes that's all this update was no insane features added for the most part apple kind of had to push this out because on they just like unsigned 13.1.3 as well as 12.4.2 i don't know why they did that 12.4.2 thing that was really random i don't know why they did that but 13.1.3 they unsigned so people had to go and update to something and 13.2 was the only available one but, but now with this one it did fix those bugs one of the main bugs that it fixed was that ram management one but the other ones that it fixed were some safari issues some people were having issues with the single sign on but another thing which i wasn't experiencing some of you guys might have was cell signal and some data issues as well from your phone so sometimes you would pick up a call and hang up and then all of a sudden you would not have any cell signal apparently which was really really weird but apple went ahead and fixed that now so that's good i'm really happy about that and some other issues here and there you guys already know how these updates are <laughs> Now I did run a benchmark and on the previous version of iOS 13 that I was running on this, which I don't know which one it was, I had a multi-core score of 128,144. Now I'm going to show you this multi-core score. I don't know what to make of it, but I'll just show you guys so I won't talk. I got a multi-core score now of 191,819. Now I don't know, like maybe, I, I don't see it being that much faster. I've already updated it in 2.2 to the newest version. It's still a fast phone. The 7 Plus has always been a fast phone as you can see. But 13.2.2, I don't think it necessarily added the speedness in this thing. I mean, I, like I said, it's a fast phone no matter what, but I'm not really too sure what happened with this and 2.2 thing. I need to switch to Geekbench. I keep talking about it, but I never do it. But overall, what I can tell you is this update, even for the 7 Plus, I didn't have any issues updating to it. No boot loops, no nothing. So that's definitely a good sign. I love seeing that, especially with the 7 Plus being boot loop prone, more so the 7, but I didn't really have too many issues with this. So what I can tell you is in terms of this overall update, it's a bug fixing update at its core. Don't expect to update and get new features or anything, but I would recommend updating if you're currently on iOS 13 on any version. However, like I've stated before, if you want to jailbreak, stay on the lowest version. Whenever that jailbreak comes out, you'll be probably the first ones to get it, the lower version you are. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. That like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, children.